Sup y'all, bring guys another video. So if you follow Marusho Suleiman, who is the uh, current WBC president, the World Boxing Council, if you follow him, he recently posted up this uh, link right here. The franchise boxer, the WBC franchise boxer. If you click on it, it goes to the website, WBC website of uh, Marusho Suleiman explaining this WBC franchise boxer so <laughs> basically defending the franchise belt because if you guys don't know the WBC is doing this thing now where they have a franchise champion first franchise champion to my knowledge is Canelo second is Lomachenko and uh and yeah let's let's read it let's read it uh, I'll read it for you guys um you know, if you, I mean, it's the the text is pretty small. It's it's a pretty short article, so let's let's go over it. Let's read it. So it reads, since it's it, since oh my goodness, I can't read shit. <laughs> All right, let's start over. Since its formation in 1963, the WBC has dedicated all available efforts to find avenues and tools to improve all aspects of boxing and ma to make it a safer sport for all participants. The WBC has broken previously accepted boxing paradigms to make changes to improve the sport. In the process, the WBC has summoned many challenges, all in the name of benefiting boxers before, during, and after their glory days in the ring. The WBC introduced the franchise boxer concept and rule a couple of years ago. The franchise boxer is a special designation and privilege status which the WBC may bestow to a current WBC champion who is also an elite boxer and who has achieved and maintains the highest of stature in the sport. Under governing rule 3.26 in its discretion, the WC WBC may upon a two-third vote of the Board of Governors designate in each weight category one WBC franchise boxer. A franchise boxer enjoys special status with respect to his or her mandatory obligations, holding multiple titles and competing for titles of other organizations. As the WBC Board of Governors considers Petitions from elite boxers to receive the franchise boxer's designation on a case-by-case -case basis. And then it reads, Initially, the WBC established that the, bo the franchise boxer privileges were conferred and not won or lost as a result of the outcome of a bout. As any rule of importance, the WBC has modified its franchise boxer rule so that it reflects the re reflects the realities of of our ever-evolving sport just as the nfl for example continuously adjusts its parameters and introduces innovations such as adding one game to the league's schedule wbc continues to tweak its franchise boxer rule to better fit the rules proposes and goals a significant adjustment to the rule about when teofimo lopez requested to become franchise boxer if he defeated vasily lomachenko teofimo prevailed and the WBC conferred to him and the well-deserved franchise boxer des des designation in the WBC lightweight division. So, um, yeah, uh, Teofimo Lopez is now the franchise champion for the WBC. In order to continue developing the fr WBC franchise boxer concept and rule, the, the updated WBC franchise boxer rule will read as follows. 9.26 franchise boxer. The franchise boxer is a special designation and privilege status which the WBC may bestow to a current WBC world champion who is also an elite boxer and who has achieved and maintains the highest of statures in the sport. In its discretion, the WBC may upon two-thirds of both of the Board of Governors designate a WBC franchise boxer. A franchise boxer shall enjoy this privilege. I think that's the same thing I read earlier. Um... WBC franchise boxer highest pr uh, preferential position to challenge the world championship in his division at any given time upon his written request to the WBC regardless of whether the current world champion has any mandatory obligations. So I guess it means that um, he doesn't really have a mandatory challenger I guess. 
Huh, interesting. Okay, the WBC franchise boxer designation can only be used in connection with the boxer to whom the WBC specifically bestows that designation. WBC will designate a franchise boxer as well as WBC Emeritus Champion once he officially retires from boxing. While enjoying the designation, the WBC boxer shall pr proudly press represent the WBC in every single fight as a reigning WBC champion, regardless of any specific conditions of ti or titles being associated with any fight in which he is which he participates. WBC franchise boxer boxing activity shall be governed by the WBC rules and regulation. The WBC shall provide approve the WBC franchise boxers opponents through the WBC franchise boxers promoter. Jesus, this is a bunch of rules here for the WBC. <laughs> Um, so, so yeah, basically you have to be voted in to be, a, you have to be voted by the WBC board of governors to become the franchise box boxer for your division with two thirds of the votes. I don't know how many exactly, how many, uh, governors are there to vote, but, uh, two thirds it's what, what is that? 66, what's two thirds technically. So, uh, yeah, like 66%, I guess, 66 something percent. Um, and then it goes on to talk about in the when it comes to the scenario of uh, Estrada, Chocolatito, Rungvisa, and Quadras. So if you guys don't know, I made a video. I'll be posting up videos of it soon. They these all this, these two fights have been ordered. It's pretty much a super flyweight tournament. So it reads here right, right here in the aftermath of the unbelievable recent fight of the year candidate between Juan Francisco Estrada and Roman Gonzalez. The boxing world immediately clamored for the for the rubber match to take place, having a mandatory challenger of the division who had already stepped aside to allow Estrada Gonzalez to. The WBC communicated with all parties involved and issued a ruling which satisfied all of them. WBC's ruling comprised the creation of the WBC Fly Super Flyweight Tournament by ordering the following: designation of Estrada's franchise boxer and order Estrada Gonzalez three. Sugar set room decide to fight Carlos Quadras for the WBC Super Flyweight World Championship. The winner of each bout to fight each other to determine the sole WBC king in the Super Flyweight division. And there have been 10 fights involving those four fighters, all of them of the highest quality. So yeah, I'll be making videos of uh, this soon. So anyway, so at the end of the day, the way I look at it, the WBC franchise belt is stupid. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> um... It's stupid. I mean, what, what's the point? Like, like, <laughs> I don't know, man. I just don't understand it at all. Like, so they're, they're going to have special privileges. So meaning they don't fight their mandatory challengers, you know, like, <sighs> it's dumb. It's dumb. It's just another way to create the belt so that they can get another sanctioning fee because if you guys don't know if we, you get you have to pay the wbc whether it's the wbc wba or ibf or wbo you still have to pay them if you you know hold the belts because they take a fee out of your paycheck so it's just another way to to uh, to get another fighter to hold one of these belts so they can get another fee similar to the wba with their super and regular versions of their titles that's the way i look at it this this franchise belt it's similar to the super belt of the WBA. So now the WBC has a franchise champion and a regular champion. In the case of Teofimo Lopez in the lightweight division, um, you know he he Teofimo Lopez is the franchise champion and Devin Haney is the regular champion. And in the case of this uh, the super flyweight division, Estrada is the super cha the um, franchise champion, and the winner of Rungvisai and Quadras will be the regular champion. Stupid, if you ask me. Stupid. So, anyway, if you agree or disagree, let me know in the comments. I know it's a long read. Um, but yeah, if you want to read it yourself, just go to the WBC website and you can read it there. So, so I, I don't know, man. I don't know what Marushio Suleiman and the WBC are thinking by making this belt or creating it. Should have never made it to begin with because it just creates more confusion in the sport of boxing. The, the, casual fans won't understand it heck as a boxing fan I, you know i follow the sport it's it's confusing stupid <laughs> anyway let me know your thoughts thanks for listening thanks for watching and like always have a great day all right thanks